Hi there, my name is Blandina. I am a dental hygienist and dental therapist. I practice here in England in the United Kingdom. Now, prior to that, I was working as a dental nurse. I used to be a dental nurse and I qualified as a dental nurse in 2002. So from 2002 all the way to 2006, I was working as a dental nurse. So 2008, I qualified as a dental hygienist. Um, I wanted to feel like I was doing more than just the dental hygiene. And, you know, it was exciting thinking, OK, I want to be a dental therapist, um, expand my treatment to my patients, offer more to be able to look after them uh, restoratively as opposed to just preventatively. So I studied then, went back to university, got my diploma in dental therapy in 2013. So I usually get asked, um, how can I become a dental hygienist? And I decided today to make a video to help if there's, if there's someone out there wanting to be a dental hygienist, dental therapist, how can you become one? Especially coming from the background of being a dental nurse, because I myself was a dental nurse. So how do we get there? How can you become a dental hygienist? They're looking for five GCSEs or maybe four GCSEs, depending on the university and they're looking for um, two or three A-levels. Some I've seen listing one A-level or equivalent, GSCs, GCSEs, A-levels equivalent as well. And some of them will consider foundation courses as well. Um, it's best to check on the university websites to see what they are accepting, but they're looking for usually five GCSEs and either two or three A-levels or one or equivalent or um, a foundation course. Now, if you are a dental nurse and you've got a recognized qualification of being a dental nurse, that counts actually towards your qualification. If you happen to not have the right qualifications, then you can plan it through, maybe do a year of you know, college, get your A-levels, three A-levels, or if you're already working as a dental nurse, then just do your dental nursing qualification if you don't have it yet, because that will also go towards the, um, you know, that will go also towards your qualifications. And, but like I said, for up-to-date information, have a look at the websites because it, it changes all the time. It's always being updated. Um, but yeah, that's the route here in England of how to become a dental hygienist and a dental therapist. So basically that's what they're looking for. And also they'll ask for a personal statement and that's when you pour your heart out. Why do you want to be a dental hygienist? What's inspired you to? What's your motivations? And you know, your background, all those things, all the stuff that you feel will get you across it and selected for an interview because your personal statement will determine as well as your qualifications whether you get called for an interview and then when you go for your interview then it's your time to shine and get your spot most of the courses are quite com uh, competitive they are quite competitive but don't let that put you off because i used to get told when i was a dental nurse when i tell people oh i want to be a dental hygienist i want to be a dental therapist first thing out here was oh do you know it's really competitive do you think you'll get in it's really really competitive but if you know why you're there and you know you're studying you're keeping up with your uh, notes and all of that then you should be okay if you need help there's people you can talk to so as long as really your focus, then it shouldn't be a problem. So I hope this video helps. Uh, please subscribe, like, and comment. And let me know if you like this sort of con content, then please let me know because I'll be dropping more videos if I know this is what you want to watch. And yeah, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.